This is how to identify the descending column by linear probe. This is a transverse section in the left iliac fossa. Here we see the descending column. These are the muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. We see three layers and this is the subcutaneous fat layer. And this is the iliopsoas muscle. We can identify the descending colon by pushing on the abdominal wall in the left side of the abdomen. And displacing the small bowel loops from between the abdominal wall and the posterior hole here which is the psoas and the iliac muscle here we see that the small wall loops are displaced from the field of view from between the anterior abdominal wall and the psoas muscle while the descending column stays in its location because it is retroperitoneal. This is the descending column and these are the displaced small bowel loops during pressure, applying pressure on the anterior abdominal wall in the left iliac fossa small bowel loops moves away and pushed to the internal abdomen while descending column stays in its location because it's fixed to the posterior abdomen and we see it in the most lateral point in the abdominal cavity. And here we see the descending column. It is in its longitudinal section. This is the anterior wall. And this is the posterior wall. This is the psoas muscle. Here we see the descending column when we rotate the probe 90 degrees and we see the transverse section and the longitudinal section. We can follow the descending column inferiorly and see how it descends anterior to the left iliac vessels here and becomes the sigmoid colon. This is the descending colon. It goes medially, passes medially anterior to the left iliac vessels to the to the pelvis this is the descending column we follow it inferiorly and medially to the pelvis here and we see how it crosses anterior to the left iliac vessels here 
Yeah. 